Yo, 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 what's crack a packing you guys? Uh, how we doing? Uh, I know it's been a long time since I've made my last video. Obviously, with everything that's going on, uh, we've just been financially a lot more tighter. Um, and my wife and I made a deal that I wouldn't spend any money on cards and she wouldn't spend any money on essential oils. That's kind of like her thing that she's into. Um, but I bought this a while back um, and I'm also trying out a new, a new editing software called um, Filmora and it costs 40 bucks for the whole year, which is super cheap. But at the same time, we're really just trying not to spend any money at all. So um, I'm just gonna use my old software to film this video, but I have another one ready to go up. Um, but uh, yeah, so today we have a Panini Contenders Football 2019. You, know, you guys who are familiar with the product know that if you pull an autograph out of one of these, it quintuples your money. Um, but in the odds of getting them in a blaster box are highly unlikely. So if we just get a sweet parallel, uh, preferably uh, the cracked ice parallel, uh, I would just be happy with that if, if it was just a rookie in general. Um, there's only five packs per blaster box. So these are a little bit on the pricier side, like cards. It's basically 50 cents a card. Um, compared to like Don Rest, where it's more like 25 cents a card and you get more rookies. But you know what? Uh, sometimes you just got to go big. Uh, so I was going through my collection. Um, I just have like cases and cases of cards uh, in like this black crate that I've had since I was like, I don't know, probably 14, 15 when I was heavily collecting. And I found a Tom Brady rookie card. Um, this is, it says Aurora 2000, 2000 rookie. Um, it's Pacific Trading Card uh, Inc. So it's like, I don't even know. These guys definitely aren't in business anymore. Uh, I looked up, look it up online and it's worth about 80 bucks if it's in good condition. But if you can see, there's a ding right on the left, top left corner. Uh, my bad for not finding that earlier. But you know what? It's probably never gonna leave the PC. Still got a Tom Brady rookie card and that's awesome. Um, and then I have this Lamar Jackson jersey card I pulled in the video I will be posting soon. So with that being said, let's get ripping. Today the new Bucks uniforms were released. I don't know if you guys have seen them at all, but they're basically going with their throwback uniforms when they made the run to the Super Bowl in 2002. And I find it, <laughs> I feel like they're trying to bring the nostalgia back from that season since they got Tom Brady. And I think they're trying to repeat what they had. Um, but my buddy who's a super huge Bucks fan. So it looks like you're guaranteed uh, one Blaster exclusive rookie ticket swatch variation or autograph. I'm trying to see, it looks like this card right here is gonna have our mem card. Um, to get an autograph in these guys is just fairly, basically impossible. Um, but I saw the jerseys, obviously they look a little bit newer, but at the same time, I was just, my, my buddy was texting me about it and I was just like, man, they're really trying to make this the year. Uh, fortunately for football, it looks like it's not going to uh, affect the season. It looks like we're gonna be resuming sports activities in late May. Baseball is supposed to resume spring training in late May, which is awesome. Uh, but it's sad because baseball is one of my favorite sports when it first starts up to watch. It's probably my favorite sport in general. I mean, I played it in college, so. Um, but yeah, obviously this has been probably the most difficult time for all sports fans. And I'm going through it. And luckily the hobby hasn't died at all. So I've just been living vicariously through watching people open up cards, getting my own, etc. Uh, but let's get into it. So we got a Marlon Mack. He, when he's healthy, man, this guy's an absolute stud. Uh, he had a couple games last year. We ran for over 150. I mean, like 28 carries. You just get the pound in the rock. Uh, Dante Pettis didn't get as much playing time as he anticipated. Cortland Sutton, and it looks like we have a rookie insert. Rookie of the year contenders. Gary Jennings Jr. Well, I don't think that stands very true. <laughs> I don't even think he played very much this season. DK was the guy. Um, and so was Tyra Lockett when he was healthy. Uh, Melvin Ingram, the third. Devontae Parker finally had his breakout season after everybody waiting and waiting and waiting for him to do something. And old man Rogers. This break's gonna go quick. There's only five packs. 
Um, but you know what, I saw this on the shelf at Target. I was deciding between this and Tops. I have yet to film a Tops uh, video, but I also picked up a hanger box of Tops and also a blaster box. So my next video is gonna be me ripping both of those, looking for some good rooks. Uh, so here we got a Luke Keekly. He retired at 31 or 30 or 29, something young. Um, these players are starting to be more concussion, concussion conscious, and uh, it's kind of sad. Um, I know the NFL is doing everything that it can to prevent concussions, but at the end of the day, it's just part of the sport. And if these guys make, what, 50 mil, I mean, you can pretty much live off that if you're smart. You don't spend it on gold chains and diamond necklaces. Um, Melvin Ingram, or Melvin Gordon the third, new face, the Broncos, I'm not quite sure. Uh, they got Freeman and Lindsey. I mean, if I was to just go with one guy, I think Lindsey's the guy, but I guess they're just going to have a heavy running back package. Um, or maybe they're going to trade Ingram, or they might trade Lindsey. I could see that happening uh, maybe at the draft time. Fletcher Cox and a Drew Brees MVP contenders. Insert. Chandler Jones, Evan Ingram, Julian Edelman and Duke Johnson Jr. So one thing about contenders is, I don't think I believe this. So it says right here, it's a 300 card set, 160 rookie tickets, 100 season tickets, and 40 rookie ticket as RPSs. If you look, every single card we've gotten has been non, a non-rookie. Every single one. And so that means there's only 100 base cards and we've gotten every single base card which is weird. You would expect more rookies, but they only come in the, that insert. So we've gotten that one, which is rookie or contender, Gary Jennings. But I don't know. That's kind of one of the knocks on contenders too. I mean, besides the fact that they're very hit or miss, um, I don't like that there's not an abundance of rookies. I really think that a lot of collectors go for rookies, um, and that can really just make this $20 box worth it if you get one or two good rookies. So... I don't know, that's what I like about Donruss a little bit better is even though you spend 20 bucks and the rookie card's not worth that much, it still makes you feel good opening up a, you know, a Kyler Murray if it's worth three bucks. You still, you know, it's hype. So anyways, Earl Thomas the third. still weird seeing him in a Ravens uni uniform. Kerryon Johnson was hurt last year. Jacoby Brissett surprisingly stepped it up. Uh, the Colts aren't bad. He didn't fall on his face like I anticipated. Sorry, the coffee sip. Jimmy G and Champ Bailey. Legendary contenders. Uh, nice. He was fun to watch. He was one of the best corners. He also ran punt returns, and he was really fun, really fast. Uh, Bobby Wagner, Keenan Allen. Finally had a better season, and he stayed healthy. Uh, and Kenyon Drake. Mr. <sighs> David Johnson position stealer completely wipes the position right under his hat it's crazy talk about a guy who just had it all and then i don't know him and um todd Gurley are just wild cards man it's very very sad to see oh my gosh you guys see that on the card um, it's frustrating sometimes panini gets really uh, knocked for their quality, um, sending cards already dinged up. I noticed on the first couple we opened that a couple of the cards were bent. Um, so that's kind of sad and frustrating, especially if we had gotten a hit. That would really irritate me, but luckily um, we haven't gotten a hit yet. Well, <laughs> if that even makes sense. Uh, Josh Allen had a pretty solid season. Josh Norman really only had one good season, and everybody... Um, and it's just all been hype since then. Is that a DK? Nice. DK Metcalf. Cool. I love this guy. Especially if Russell Wilson's your QB and you got a good shot. Look how ripped he is, dude. Look at his arms. He's freaking yoked. <laughs> the creases in his biceps. You can see the veins popping out. It's insane. Adam Thielen. Man, we lost uh, Stefan Diggs. Rip. He's going to... The Bills, and uh, if he thinks he's going to get more pass catches on the Bills, good luck with that, Mr. Inaccurate. Uh, James Conner held the Steelers together this year. 
Michael Thomas had a Megatron type season. It's fun watching him play. And Leonard Fournette. Disappointing, but the Jags were also disappointing. All right, guys, this is it. The last pack. We're getting our Mem card. I can feel it. It's already thick. And if you see. Oh, what? That's weird. It's like bulging out. Oh, it's super thick. So I'm going to slide that to the back. Oh, chill. We got uh, Dwayne Haskins and Kyler Murray. That's actually a super sweet card. Wow. First round numbers. Only if that was autographed. I would just, I would quit. I would stop opening cards. <laughs> That's so sick. Wow. Awesome. We're going to put that in the hit pile with the DK because I'm a big fan of DK. It's a sweet card. All right. We got Andy Dalton. Sad. Um, I actually don't think he's a bad quarterback. I think he just got a lot of hate last year, and I just think the Bengals are just garbage in general, and I don't think it has anything to do with Andy Dalton. Um, yeah, he hasn't been able to win a playoff game, but he did win a playoff game, and then Alonzo Burfisset basically lost it for him. Uh, I think it was 2016, 17. It was just sad. They basically won, so I'm not going to put that on him. Uh, crab legs. <laughs> Not gonna have a job. Uh, AJ Boye. Boye, is he a rookie? No. John Brown, Stefan Diggs is gonna take over as number one and he's gonna move to the two. Jordan Reed can never stay healthy. Odo Beckham Jr., everyone's uh, first round pick in fantasy and just absolutely hated themselves. All right, guys, ooh, it's red. Could it be a Kyler Murray? Could it be, honestly, it's going to be Andy Isabella. RTSV. Huh. Rookie ticket. Oh, it's a, um, a Niner. SV. Who's SV? No clue. Oh, Debo Samuel. Hell yeah. Ooh, it's green. Nice. Green parallel. Debo Samuel. Hell yeah. The green parallels aren't numbered. It says, so the, the, another knock about Panini is that it says enclosed player worn material is guaranteed by Panini. So what it basically means is these guys could just throw a jersey on real quick or a jacket on and then take it right off and then Panini just bags it up and then just makes a bunch of money off of it. So I don't know. The, the other knock, the big knock about Panini, well, if you can also see at the very bottom of the card, it looks like the card's semi-damaged. So that's frustrating. Um... But the biggest knock is in baseball, they don't have the MLB licensing. One, Tops, tops is a little selfish. Um, but two, I mean, you, there's got to be a point where you pay for it. I know people are still buying Panini baseball products, but as far as holding its value, they don't hold their value very well. So, well, sweet, guys. This is actually, uh, I don't know if we got our $20 back, but this is a super sweet. I actually haven't seen this card at all. Um, the DK and the Debo Samuel are all solid. So um, he actually uh, put it on in the Super Bowl. So I think uh, he's probably gonna break out. That, that has to give him a lot of confidence. I love that green shimmer. How sweet is that? Well guys, thanks for uh, tuning in, um, watching. I appreciate you guys with the support always. Uh, I will be doing a 100 uh, subscriber giveaway. Once I get to that point, I'm only at like 12 right now, but I know you guys who are watching, I appreciate the support, um, and I hope everybody stays safe and continues to collect during these uh, difficult times. Uh, if you guys like the video, hit the like button, uh, and if you want, comment your favorite sport you're looking forward to coming back. Uh, for me, I'm going to have to say it's baseball. There's just something about opening day and the beginning of the season that just gives me goosebumps. Just everybody's evil equal on the even playing field and uh there's always a surprise the first month or two um, like the twins were even though i'm a big twins fan uh they were a huge surprise last year so um this year i think it's could be the white Sox could take the al central they have a really good young squad if giolito and um Kopech, uh get it down with their other uh, left-hander i can't think of his name he's a dominican player really good um, I know they got a good shot. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.